This time, there would be no mercy. As a prelude to war on the 22nd of May 1306, Edward knighted his son, Edward of Carnarvon, in the church at Westminster Palace. In the movie, the king also goes on to knight 297 other men, but this job was actually given to Carnarvon at the larger Westminster Abbey. In any case, it was the largest mass knighting in medieval England. Maybe even more impressive was the feast that followed the ceremony, the highlight of which was the arrival of two swans. Now, it's not clear whether these were gold cast or living swans, but if they were alive, they are said to have either been trapped between a mesh of gold chains or in golden cages. Dead or alive? The film can't decide, so it just does both. Either way, Edward swore on the swans to avenge the death of John Cummin, whereas in the movie, it's his son who does this instead. By these swans, I vow to avenge this murderous insult to God! The event became known as the Feast of the Swans. 